Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I am an old guy gaming and I'm ready to take you on an adventure up to the space station. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> Just having a little bit of fun with the gestures here. Welcome back, you guys. Uh, we are going to uh, take off from the planet here, um, our first space, and head up to the space station for the first time and continue uh, following the Awakenings quest line. Um, uh, just FYI, I, I made a couple of graphics tweaks. I turned the vignette off. I changed the refresh rate so it matched my monitor, monitor which is 165 hertz refresh rate. I turned off motion blur because who likes motion blur, man? I don't like it. Um, and yeah, so um, the game's actually been performing quite well even with those things on, but um, hopefully it'll perform even a little bit better now. Okay, let's hop into our ship. And we are going to take off and do the next part of this quest. If we take a look at um, discoveries, not discoveries, log. Here we go. Uh, so we are working, I, I don't know if I actually explicitly had pointed this out, but we're working on the Awakenings quest line, which is the first big quest line or the, you know, the main arc of the, the quest in the game. Um, so it's time for us now to... Um, head up to the space station. We've already done all of this stuff as we've come along. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. Get up into space here. And we should have a waypoint over here. Okay, let's head on to the space station. Now once we get here, then we can link this space station up to our our portal uh, down at our base, and then we can just teleport back down there. Okay. Love that music. Okay, welcome to the space station, everybody. Um, all right, there's two sides. I don't remember what we do on which side, so let's just go refresh our memory here. Uh, so we got dudes that we can talk to up here. Uh, this is where the terminal is, as well as the uh, teleporter thingy. Okay, so I think... I think we can get a free suit upgrade up here, um, but I, I, I'm again I'm I'm coming back to the game after four years, so and I haven't really watched anybody else play it in the interim, so I'm a little bit rusty, but you know stuff will come back to me as as we go along. Okay, so let's take a look at the terminal first, the Galactic Trade Terminal, and um, selling. We probably should hang on to the salvage data because we're gonna need that to unlock some more stuff. Um, I'll just sell all the all the goop for now. Um, the platinum we could hang on to and turn it into more nanites, but um, I don't think we're gonna do that right now. Just because we have kind of limited space at the moment. The navigation data I think we can do for uh, you know sell for planetary charts. Okay, this is what's currently in our ship, which is pretty much nothing. All right, so for buying, um, we're, we are, I know we're going to need two wiring looms that we're going to need for our ship. Uh, it looks like the price is actually good, too, at the moment. But we can also get those planet side. And now now that we're going to have a, a, you know access to a teleporter, if the price is better up here or down there, we can do it. Okay, so let's start talking to these dudes. I think this guy gives us missions, right? Life form waits behind the terminal. Ask about other travelers. They look me up and down and seem to decide I am not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. The life form looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Okay, I think we need... Yeah, we need rep. We need to uh, raise our reputation with these guys before we can take missions with them. Alright, what about you? You're an envoy. This life form clearly occupies an important position in the station. At first glance, they do not seem to particularly interest me. Perhaps the code will change their mind. 
Perhaps the code. What code? What are we talking about? No look of recognition passes uh, from the life form space. We continue to misunderstand each other. Okay. What's this one have to say? Okay, I think this is the one we can trade in for star charts. Life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left. You uh, have left you, sorry. Uh, though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not to appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to give me more information. Okay. Yeah, so basically the entity that's guiding us along uh, took over that dude's mind for a minute to communicate with us. Okay. Um, let's see. I think there's some stuff we can loot on these tables or some of the tables if I remember right. Uh, it's not this data pad thingy. Nope, I guess not. Okay, let's talk to these dudes. Sales Gek. The scent of this life form is pleasant in it as it is intoxicating. These guys give off pheromones, by the way. That's what all the smell stuff is. Uh, there's pride in their eyes, perhaps as a result of the flowery gas that has engulfed the both of us. Um, request dialect help. Presents a list of symbols, each meaning to represent a word I might learn. Um, let's go with a travel symbol. Okay, we have learned the word for find. Very nice. Okay, cool. Let's talk to this guy. This is a Corvax. This is basically an, like an electronic bean robot kind of dude. Corvax's, the Corvax's movements are slow and so, so perific. <laughs> I think I've seen that word before, but I don't know how to pronounce that. Soporific. Uh, if they were an organic bean, I would say that they had just woken from a deep sleep. I do not know how such concepts apply to these life forms. Request dialect help. Yeah, let me know what soporific means. Um, I, I'll just Google it. Uh, anyway, uh, this entity touches my suit. Strange symbols form in my mind, each representing a concept. Let's learn a trade symbol. We have learned the Corvax word for trade. All right, fantastic. How about you? Friend, you have work for me. Yes, I have served in the finest kitchens. Hi, how can I understand this guy? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems. In each one, producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my ingredients here. Hire me, yes. The, the Gek chirps happily at the side of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed. Apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. Okay, we don't have an agricultural terminal, so we can't do that. But basically, the idea is we set an agricultural terminal up, then we come and hire this guy, we assign him to it, and then he starts giving us uh, uh, improvements and benefits for farming, as I recall. But we can't do it right now because we don't have the terminal farm. Um, so we'll do that later. All right, what about you? Gek holds out a small device. The exact nature of the display is not clear to me, but I recognize the symbol for units alongside an extremely large number. Um, request dialect help. Um, let's go with friendship symbol. Okay, we have learned the Gek word for help. Nice. So eventually, like I said, as we continue to do this, we'll start to be able to understand what these guys are saying to us. The Gek is a miserable sight, a picture of dismay and deflation. They look at me in a way that begs for pity. Quest dialect help. Uh, the resource analyst phased stares at me, blinking with confusion. Eventually, they tap at their datapad and display a list of language symbols. Um, let's do a mystery symbol this time. You've learned the Gek word for the. All right. That's going to be useful to know. Because you usually find the in sentences. Okay, we got another Corvax homie here. Electronic life form flickers two sets of lights appear within their helmet mask two individuals appearing to share this body. Okay, that's odd. I uh, request elect dialect help. Um, let's do a trade symbol. We learn the Corvax word for nanites. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that is it for this side of the station. We already went in here, right? There wasn't really anything in here to loot. 
Hey, we're a beginning. We're, we've learned five words. Look at us in our bad selves. Okay. All right. Have we talked to everybody? Did we talk to this guy? I don't know. You get snaps to attention as I approach. They seem bleary eyed as if they have been asleep. Select dialect help. Presents a list of symbols, each seeming to represent a word I might learn. Uh, let's do a travel symbol. We've learned the word for planet. Okay. Um, don't know if we talked to this guy or not. Gek is lost to an idle reverie. Pleasant smells drifting from their glands as they sway side to side. They pay me little attention. Dialect help. Uh, let's go with a, a Gek symbol. You've learned the Gek word for Gek. I thought we already knew that. Maybe not. Apparently we didn't. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're finished on this side of the station. Um, no, maybe we didn't talk to these guys. Trader holds themselves with a regal posture. They appear to be open to an exchange of goods. Request dialect help. Uh, let's do a technology symbol. We've learned the word for ship. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. The gag seems to roar in a display of flashing red lights on the screen in front of them. They stab at the buttons and periodically the lights flash yellow. This is accompanied by a fanfare and appears to please the gag a great deal. Okay. Request dialect help. Uh, let's do a mystery symbol. You have learned the Gek word for I. All right, not sure how that's a mystery symbol, but if you say so. I believe we've talked to everybody now on this side, except for, yeah, we talked to them too. Okay, let's head over to the other side. We have now learned eight words. We're a student, yay us. Okay, so, uh, what does this do? Not alone, met 10 aliens. I'll wait for that to go away. Starship outfitting. Purchase improvements. Salvage ships. Great starship. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so if we... If we find, like, a derelict ship and bring it back, we can sell it or salvage it, maybe? Upgrade starship? What does that do? Inventory storage. Augment inventory storage or improve starship class. Improve storage... For free with storage augmentation units. For free? Uh, that's seven million units. How is that supposed to be free? I must be misunderstanding something here. We can upgrade the class of the ship. Oh, that's new. I don't remember being able to do that when I played four years ago. Okay. This allows us to change our appearance, I believe. Appearance modifier. So you, um. The only thing that I might want to do here is uh, armor. Let's just change to blue. Oh, that's style. That's not color. Okay. I like this this color here. Um, okay, how do I... Gloves. Legs. Boots. Uh, save changes. Okay, hold on. I'm not done, though. Head. Um, let's go with that blue. Torso will go black. The gloves I want. Legs, boots, backpack. Uh, let's make the backpack green. Now nah, we'll make it blue too. We'll go. We're gonna. We'll do a blue theme because I like blue. And banner? Oh, we can make a banner. Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave that the way it is. Okay, save changes. There we go. We changed our look. This is where I believe we get the free suit upgrade. Install new suit slot. Upgrade exosuit. Very nice. Okay, our first of many suit upgrades. Can we talk to this dude? Technology merchant. 
Offers installable Exosuit upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. What do you have, dude? A movement module, a shield module. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of nanites for this stuff, but this is what we need the nanites for. So we'll come back after we have more of those. What do you do? Exocraft research. Oh, okay. I think we buy land vehicles from this dude. Um, well, maybe not buy, but we get upgrades for the land vehicles. Okay. And then this guy here is... Technology Merchant Starship Research. Uh, purchase upgrade modules. Okay, yeah, so these are for our ships. But um, we need... We need um, currency for that. Or more currency. And then what do you do? Multi-tool upgrades. Okay, let's take a look and see what he's got, just for the fun, fun of it. Geology cannon module, pulse splitter module. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're definitely going to have to farm some nanites for all that stuff. Um, Multi-tool upgrade station, add slot and improve class. Purchase a new slot. No, because uh, we're not we're not going to be keeping this multi-tool for very long. Okay. As I recall, we can run around and get navigation data, which we can later on, I think, turn into planetary charts or turn in for planetary charts. What is this? A scrap dealer. I think this is new too. Gek, the Gek smiles shyly as I approach an act or I see the outline of a weapon admits chaos of their stall. Um, ask what they are selling. Large ships suffer strange fates, friend, but their cargo is very valuable. Lots of profits to be had for the brave. The Gek awaits my decision. Acquire coordinates. Ask what they are selling. Purchase old scrap. When they say old scrap, what are we talking about exactly? Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember this stuff from before. This must be new um, since I played the Beyond update four years ago. But, um, so I guess we can salvage stuff off of ships and things, and then we can come in here and sell uh, to him, or we can... We find tainted metal and then we can buy this stuff. Okay, it looks like tainted metal is the currency for all of this stuff. It's almost like it's black market stuff or something because it says contraband. Okay, let's grab some more cubes here. All right, let me look at this navigation data again. May be traded with a cartographer aboard a space station in exchange for usable star charts. Um, when we talked to the cartographer over here, he didn't seem to be too fond of us, so... Oh, I can't, um, I can't use the melee up here. No fighting allowed. I might have missed something, though. Let's go talk to this good dude again. Yeah, maybe it's because I don't have rep with the Gek yet or something. Okay, so we'll come back and try it again later. And meanwhile, we'll just accumulate the star chart thingies. Okay, guys, I think we're finished on the space station. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to go to the terminus here. And we're going to link up to our base. And warp to it. And our ship magically also warps with us, and we'll be back down there. It's our first time traveling through the teleporter. Lots of colors. And we are here. Okay, cool. Um, our ship should be outside. Yep, there it is. Too bad they didn't park it on the thing. All right, so for the quest... Now the next step is we have to check our base computer. So let's do it.
Base computer archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding 161616. 16, 16. Message follows. Traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. We now have a new waypoint. And it's going to be up in space on one of the other planets. Is there anything else here for us? Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's what we'll do then. Um. Before we leave, can I make some kind of a storage thingy? Save beacon. That's a portable waypoint marker. A signal booster. A health station. Okay, what about here? Those are all building pieces. Stone structures, alloy structures, core habitation tech. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. that indicates a storage unit. So maybe we have to discover that or something. Huh. Okay. Well, then what we're going to do is... Let's hop into here for a second. And we might want to lighten up a little bit in our, on our inventory. He doesn't have anything else to say to us. Okay, so let's go to sell. Um, we can find salvage data just about anywhere, so I'm just going to sell that. Projectile ammunition, we want to hang on to that for now. Romantic silicate powder, that we'll put into our weapon to recharge it. Uranium we want for the ship. Let's sell the salt for now. Alright, and then let's switch over to our ship. Oh, it's out of range. Shoot, okay. Because they didn't park it on the thingy. We've earned 189,000 units. Okay, Starship Inventory Cell. Oh, I don't... <laughs> I don't even have anything in there. For goodness sakes. Alright, well that didn't cost us anything because we'll get a free takeoff. Okay, well, I think we're ready to go, guys. One thing I am going to do, though, is... Uh, let's move a couple things over to the Starship. So, we want to move the Uranium over there. Uh, we'll move the ammo over there for now since we can't use it. Um, we'll move the star charts over there and everything else um, here let's move this extra stack of cobalt over we'll go to our multi-tool and we will go to here and we'll use the silicate powder to recharge it that uh, just recharges the terrain manipulator though but that's fine and back to the exosuit. Okay, that freed up some slots. Why don't we put our life support and our ion batteries up at the top so we can get to them quickly. And then everything else. Uh, maybe we'll put some O2 there and some uh, sodium there. Okay, so we are reasonably well organized at the moment. Can I make some more of the... We need to make some dihyde jelly. And we have a couple of those. And yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's take off. Back to the stars. Oh, 
maybe we don't have to leave the planet okay we will stay here on this planet for the nonce then it's close enough to where I don't need to do a an atmo jump too to begin search. Um, that is one big ship. I think that's where it wants us to go. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's, um, Let's actually get closer to it. It'll cost us a launch fuel, but we're doing pretty good on supplies. We just need some metal plating. Let's make a few launch fuels since we have the resources for it. Okay, stack all of those. All right. There's a little landing thing here. I don't I don't know that we get a freebie from this. Maybe we do. Okay. What do you have to say to us? Wings of the anomaly. Log damaged, partial records available. The signal has led me to a wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuit circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Request the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive, yay, is attached to the end of the message. Take the blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. New technology discovered. Hyperdrive, chromatic metal, and microprocessor. We can buy those back at our base, uh, the microprocessors. Okay, cool. Um, so... We, we're, now we're going to have to get all the materials we need to make the hyperdrive and install it on our ship. But um, there is stuff around here that we can loot and get. So let's look with our scanner. Yeah, there's a cargo pod down there. So let's mark that. Uh, there's another one over there and another one there and another one there. Okay, so let's check this one out. And also... I believe we can go into here and get into some compartments for some other things too, but uh, we have to be careful because I think they're booby trapped, if I remember right. Okay, so I think we open this cargo pod, and then as soon as we open it, we got to get the heck out of here. Um, get rid of the slime. And then... Nanites. Did something bad just happen in there? Nope, maybe not. Okay. Well, I got some nanites. That's good. We need nanites. We do indeed. Okay, let's go look over here. Get the slime off of there. Starship fuel, run out! Radiation protection. Am I mistaken? I thought those rooms were booby trapped. Well, maybe not. Maybe, or maybe only some of them are. Radiation protection. Stabilizing. 
Why can't I open that? I can't open that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't want me to open that one. That's the same room we just went into. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go after these cargo pods. I don't remember what's inside of them, but we're going to find out real quick because I think there's something worthwhile to get out of them. We are now a drifter. Look at us on our bad selves. Okay, let's change to this mode and we want you to be on big mode. Cargo pod. Oh, maybe these are the ones that are booby trapped. I guess we're going to find out. Silica powder and nanites. Okay. That one was not booby trapped. Let's do a recharge in our ship here and then we'll go check the other ones. Okay, we're recharged. Let's find the next uh, buried cache. Okay. Radiation protection falling. Mineral record twilight. I have no idea what that is. A fragment of discovery data from planet Luru 27S2 concerning local minerals. It's marked as having been collected by a local Corvax explorer. Uh, analyze data, process data into nanites. Radiation protection uh, okay. I didn't see how many nanites we got out of that, but, oh, we have 331 nanites. That's pretty good. Okay. Oh, do we have sentinel? No. All right. Let's just grab this carbon real quick. Very good. All right. Now get back closer to the ship and then do another scan for the next thingy. There we go, cargo pod right there. Okay. Radiation protection falling. We're gonna have to um, take a, a life support capsule thingy here in a second. Oh, rats, I hit the thing. And we'll recharge in our ship too. Let's go to Exosuit, click on Life Support, and add. It's probably going to consume both of those, but that's fine. Um, let's make another one of those so we always have one handy. We need a dihyde jelly and uh, a support gel. Okay. We'll recharge, and then we'll go check the next thing. Nanites. Oh, we got a storm coming in. Darn it. Okay. I'm going to have to take shelter from that. Um. Alright. Did I... I must have... It said extreme night radiation. But I guess that's not a storm. That's just, well, extreme night radiation. There's a cache over there. Okay, let's go check that one out. This is kind of a long ways up. We could go check that um, broken machinery thing too.
Well, that's just a buried cache. Okay, we got another one of these thingamadoodles that we can change uh, into nanites. Okay. 451 nanites now, in total. Um, where did I see that machinery thing? It was over here somewhere, right? More nanites. We'll take them. Okay. Um, I don't see any more cargo pod. Yeah, there's there's one there. Okay, let's recharge. We'll go grab that one, and then we should be done here. I see. Okay, so I'm gonna break that door down. Okay, let's see what we got. This one might be booby trapped. I could have sworn these were booby trapped. Maybe they're not on the first ship you go to. Okay, we got silica powder and nanites. I either just got lucky or they're not booby trapped on the first ship, but we'll we'll find more of these big wrecks uh, as we go along and some of those I'm sure are going to be booby trapped. This is the one that it wouldn't let us open for some reason, right? Radiation yeah, it doesn't. Okay. You know, I noticed the radiation stabilizing thing is actually faster inside the building than it is in our cockpit, which little bit odd, but that's the way it seems to be. All right, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the base and uh, get all the stuff we need for our hyperdrive. However, we are out of time in this episode, so I'm going to let you go here, and we will pick up right where we left off. Well, we'll pick up at the base uh, in the next episode and get working on this hyperdrive. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.